So this is the Infinix Note 10 Pro. And honestly, guys, this is the second time I have covered an Infinix device. The very first one was the Infinix Hot 10S, which is a gaming centric phone that was priced at $120. Now, that's truly amazing because I really liked what that device did. Now, if you're watching me for the first time, this is Board at Work, and thank you for watching the channel. Definitely hit the subscribe button to check out more videos from us. So what is interesting about the Infinix Note 10 Pro? So this is their, I guess you could say, more high-end device. Again, this is very budget-friendly, with a Note 10 Pro coming in at $259, roughly, for this device. So what do you have in this packaging? Well, let's start off with showcasing the device itself. This thing is 6.9 inches, and I have to say though, I do like this like reflective uh, silver color. You know, it reminds me of uh, a Huawei device. I believe it was the P, it was a Huawei P30 or so that kind of had this kind of coating, which is pretty cool. But again, 6.9 inches, really big display. Uh, it's also a 90 hertz display for HD plus. So which means you are getting something that is fast and vibrant while you're uh, navigating around. It's a lot of space here. Now, this has the Note name to it. So is it similar to the Galaxy Note series, which I have? And just to give you a quick size comparison, this is what they look by at side by side. So here you go. That is what they look like. Very close in size, but this doesn't offer an S Pen in any form or fashion. So uh, for those of you thinking you might get an S Pen with this device, that is not the case. But Let's digress here. Now, it's got a ton of features built in. This is running the uh, MediaTek uh, G95 processor, which means we'll be doing some gaming. Also comes with stereo speakers as well, so that's nice. And this device does have a USB Type-C port as well as a headphone jack, so those kind of things that you'd be expecting. Battery. We're looking at a 5,000 milliamp battery in here, and I have to say that that's pretty nice. And we kind of notice this with uh, you know budget devices or at least low cost devices that they all have big batteries, which is great because a lot of those people are not looking to get um, you know portable chargers or things like that. And to top it off, the the Infinix Note uh, 10 Pro comes with a 33 watt charger. Now they also have an Infinix Note 10, which comes with an 18 watt charger. So this at least should top you off pretty quickly. Now we mentioned some gaming features and Infinix also added a gaming zone to this device, which allows you to go in and uh, do a couple of things. You can take a look at your um, uh, the games you have, you can set up, of course, like a uh, do not disturb feature, that kind of fun stuff in there. Uh, nothing too crazy. There is no, of course, um, FPS uh, monitoring or things like that, but we're able to check out some games. So we'll play some Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, and we'll see what kind of performance. And of course, you guys will see the settings that I played on. So let's go check it out. Gaming performance is actually pretty decent. I, I think when you're looking at the price point and what you get with this, uh, if we look at say, you know, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, yes, we played at very high and we're able to get 57 frames per second, not locked at 60, but again, solid affair in terms of performance. Now, PUBG Mobile, we're able to play on Smooth Ultra and in that gameplay session, we're able to do um, about 40 frames per second. Again, really solid gaming experience. Another thing to add with this device is that you do have the, um, you do also have the in-game menu, which allows you to uh, map out buttons within your gameplay. So I did map out the uh, volume button. So I mapped out the volume up button as my fire trigger button, which was great to see. And it actually helped me 
uh, play much better because I like trigger buttons. They do a much better job. So gaming wise, I think you're going to get the kind of benefit you're looking for from this device. Now, this device also has a ton of other features here. You do have a quad camera system. And within that camera system, though, there are some unique features with it. So you've got an AI cam, which is just standard. Uh, that's your main uh, camera. You've got also a super night mode. And that's interesting to see because whenever you're shooting, uh, taking photos, uh, it will actually give you the AI cam will suggest night or super night. Super night is cool, uh, but I'll say not use it for any, all instances, as you can see with some of the images on here. The other thing to note is you can record video in night mode as well, but uh, when you're recording video in night mode, uh, you can clearly see the difference. It says that 1080p 30 instead of 4K 30, which it can do. And it's something that I will suggest not to just because it doesn't do a good job, at least at those levels. But you don't do have 4K 30 video, which is decent. Stabilization is not great. So don't want to run around with that while shooting video. I think when you look at this device and you look at what it brings to the table, there are some things that it does well and there are some things that it doesn't do as well. So in terms of gaming, I think it does a solid job while gaming. And I think the stereo speakers also sound really good. You could hear it while we're in our gameplay sessions. The cameras are okay at best, but I'm not expecting too much at this price point. Uh, the front facing camera is not that great. The rear cameras do a better job, at least when you're taking photos in, in daytime or even some of the low light shots actually they come out well. So I do like that. Battery life, Fantastic, 5,000 milliamps, you really can't go wrong with that. I think this is for someone who's looking for a large display, watching content, gaming, um, being able to even take notes. There is a note taking app. You can use your hand to, to write as a pen if you want to, and it's pretty effective. And you know, so you can actually use that. Oh, you can of see what I actually spelled there, so don't worry about that. But you get the general idea of what you can do with this device. I do like it. I think uh, Infinix has some pretty interesting ideas for what they do on the budget range, but I do want them to basically improve their camera, especially when people are looking at devices like the Pixel, which uh, price more at you know three, three to four hundred, three fifty to four hundred. Uh, this is something that they need to improve because they do offer uh, quite a lot of benefits in this device. So there you have it, guys. That is the Infinix Note 10 Pro. Oh, I forgot to mention, in terms of specs, you do it does come with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, uh, which is really nice. Um, so. If you want to pick this up, use the links down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.